Uh, hello everyone, this is Kavita Kula, Managing Attorney at Akula & Associates. We are a, a full-service immigration law firm located in Dallas, Texas, um, serving uh, clients across the United States uh, um, uh, currently. Um, we are here to quickly give an update of uh, the current fee, USCIS fee increases which are effective on October 2nd, 2020. These are very important fee increases and uh, there are uh, new ed uh, form additions also available on that date. USCIS will only accept the new addition of those forms along with the fees, uh, the new fees as of October 2nd, 2020. Any um, uh, submission with the wrong form or wrong fees will be rejected. So we are going to meet uh, with the, along with Shireen Rahmani, one of our senior attorneys at Akula and Associates. We are going to give you a quick rundown on some of the fees uh, which have increased or decreased, uh, but not all. So if you have any particular question on a particular form or fees or anything like that, please do call our offices for any additional information. To start off, I will start off with I-129s. Uh, the I-129 fees uh, remains at 460, but any other, um, uh, uh, like an L or an E or a TN, the prices have uh, increased on the additional supplements. So an I-129 E or a TN, uh, the price has gone up to 695, $695. Uh, for an L1, the price has gone up to $805. For an O, the price has gone to $705. So uh, be very careful. Uh, there are new addition of forms also on this category. So uh, be aware of that and be informed uh, of that. Um, for the I-131, which is an advanced parole document, the price has gone up from $575 to $590. Uh, there is an increase over there. Uh, and Shireen, can you tell us something about the I-140s and 45s? Yeah, on the actually I-140 front, I have good news. Um, the fee has decreased from 700 to 555. So um, we've seen a decrease on that one. Um, for the I-290B um, motion to consider um, or appeal, um, we have a fee increase of $25. So we've gone from 675 to 700. Mm -hmm. For the I-45, um, another good news, um, there's a fee decrease um, for the adjustment of status. We've gone from 1140 to 1130, so $10 decrease. However, for children under the 14, they used to get a discount, but now they have to pay full price. Okay. So um, the, they have increased the children's, but not yes. the on the whole, okay. The application. So, and then for the application to extend or change non-immigrant status, um, we have seen a pr price increase. There's going to be it's going to go from 370 to 400, mm -hmm. unless you do an online application, which would be um, a ten dollar discount, which is 390. So that's so the I 539. I 539, okay. which is the um, change status. Status change yeah. of the extension. Okay. So we use it for H4s, L2s, or whatever, exactly. whatnot, right? Okay. Um, and the application for um, employment authorization, so EAD. Um, there's a, actually a price increase, so we've gone from 410 to 550. Yeah, and that's only for a non-DACA application of EAD. If it's a DACA application, the the 765 remains the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one more important uh, thing I would want to bring your attention is that the premium processing clock, which used to be 15 calendar days, has been changed to 15 business days. So that's a very important. Uh, um, differentiation. So it used to be 15 calendar days is now being changed to 15 business days. Uh, I think uh, the biggest uh, fee increase I've see, been seeing is the $4,000, the public law fee uh, for certain H1s and uh, $4,500 4, uh, for certain L1s. Um, it used to be that it would only be effective for new or change of status or cap petitions, but they are expanding that fees to new or extensions uh, for um, companies or employers. So they have to pay the additional 4000 public law fee uh, across the board for new petitions, for cap petitions, for change of statuses or extensions. So that's a huge fee increase uh, as of October 2nd. Um, we have another fee increase for application for travel document, um, I-131, which went from uh, $575 to $590. And then another application that we wanted to discuss was the I-90 application to um, basically if you replace your green card, um, for example, if it's expired or lost. Or stolen, um, it's actually decreased. Um, mm -hmm. It's gone from 455 to 415. Okay. Um, 
the naturalization of the N400 is a substantial increase. So please note this, this is very important. It's the N400, uh, where you apply for your naturalization, so naturalization uh, has gone up by 83%, meaning that it gone up for, to, from $640 to $1,170. So um, that's a very substantial uh, increase. Uh, so please consider that. Uh, the N600, which is an application uh, for, to get a certification of citizenship, uh, it actually went down from 1,170 to 990. If it's an online filing, uh, if it's a paper filing, it goes up, uh, goes down to $1,000. Um, then uh, biometrics, I don't biometrics actually has gone down. Uh -huh. um, so it's gone from $85 to $30. $30 for. Uh, non-DACA and non -DACA uh, I think for DACA they remain the same at $85 so uh, we are just so, kind of running down quickly on that. Yeah. So are these uh, fees here to stay Kavita? Uh, again <laughs> as of now we are going to say October 2nd 2020 is the effective date but however uh, there are a couple of litigations which are pending in the courts on this USCIS fee fees so we don't know how uh, the courts are going to um, uh, you know come out uh, what the decisions are so we are going to keep a watch on it uh, we urge all uh, our viewers and our clients to please uh, keep in touch with our law firm uh, to make sure if, the, uh, if they are effective or not uh, for but as of today uh, October 2nd 2020 is the effective date so be please be on watch of uh, on watch out for this there are new edition of forms so just uh, please uh, reach out to our, uh, to us uh, at 972-241-4698. If you have any additional questions, uh, visit our website, www.akulalaw.com. Um, like us on Facebook and uh, uh, Instagram. Uh, we'll be updating the fee increases uh, every day uh, if there's any changes. Uh, so please follow us. Thank you so Thank much. You.